Maxillary Central Incisor Before getting started with Maxillary Central Incisor, let's have quick introduction to Permanent Maxillary Incisor. Maxillary Incisors are 4 in number, with Central Incisor in the center of the maxilla, one on each side of the midline, with mesial surface of each tooth in contact with mesial surface of the other. Maxillary and mandibular central incisors are the only neighboring teeth in the dental arch with mesial surface in contact. Maxillary central incisor is larger than the lateral incisor. The teeth supplement each other in function and they are similar anatomically. They are also called cutting teeth as their function is to punch and cut food material during the process of mastication. These teeth have incisal ridge instead of cusp and these ridges help them in cutting the food material. Maxillary Central Incisor The maxillary central incisor is the widest mesiodistally of any of the anterior teeth. The labial face is convex than that of the maxillary lateral incisor or canine which gives the central incisor a square or a rectangular appearance. When teeth is newly erected, we can see mammalons on the incisal ridge. These are, mammalons are round protuberance on incisal ridge which get obliterated with time due to their use and get converted into incisal edge. The first evidence of calcification is seen in, at 3 to 4 months. Enamel is completed by 4 to 5 years. It erupts in the oral cavity at the age of 7 to 8 year and the root is completed by 10 years. The crown is 13 uh, the crown is 10.5 mm. The root is 13 mm. Mesodistal diameter is 8.5 mm and at cervix it is 7 mm. Labiolingual diameter is 7 mm. Labial aspect that is the surface of the tooth which is towards the lip Mesial outline, surface which is towards the midline, it is slightly convex, crest of curvature approaches the mesoincisal angle. Mesoincisal angle is the angle between the mesial and incisal surface. Crest of curvature is the highest point on the teeth and this curvature is more well appreciated from the proximal aspect. Distal outline is more convex than the mesial outline. Crest of curvature is higher toward the cervical line. Distal incisal angle is not as sharp as meso incisal angle. Incisal outline is regular and straight once the mammalons are obliterated with the age. There is curve downwards towards the center. So, the crown length is greater at the center than at the two mesial and distal angles. The cervical outline is semicircular and follows the root. Root is cone shaped with blunt apex and mesial and distal outlines regular. Line angle is junction between two surfaces. Line angle visible from this aspect are mesial label and distal label that is junction between mesial and labial surface and junction between distal and labial surface respectively. Lingual aspect that is surface which is towards the tongue. Below the cervical line there is a smooth convexity which is known as cingulum. It merges with mesial and distal marginal ridges. Ridge is linear elevation on the tooth and these are named according to their anatomical positions. Lingual fossa is present between the marginal ridge and below the cingulum. Lingual fossa can be outlined with mesial marginal ridge, incisal ridge, distal marginal ridge, cingulum. The crown and root tapers lingually. Taper word in dictionary mean reduction in thickness towards one end. Line angles seen from this aspect are mesolingual and distolingual. Mesial aspect that is the surface which is towards the midline. The crown is wedge shaped 
or triangular with base of the triangular cervix and apex at the incisal ridge. If we draw a straight line from the center of the tooth, then root apex and incisal edge are bisected. This means the incisal edge and root apex are in the same plane. And this alignment is a characteristic feature of maxillary and central incisor. Maxillary central and lateral incisor. Crest of curvature of labial and lingual surface is immediately coronal to the cervical line. Cervical line is 3.5 mm. Cervical line curvature is 3.5 mm. Labial outline of the crown from crest of curvature to incisal ridge is very slightly convex and lingual outline is convex at the crest of curvature then becomes concave at mesial marginal ridge then again slightly convex at incisal edge and lingual incisal ridge. Cervical line curve is noticeable and it is the highest of all seen in the oral cavity. Root is cone shaped with blunt apex. Distal aspect, it is the surface of the tooth which is away from the midline. Distal aspect so very less difference from the mesial surface. Incisal third appears to be thicker due to distal incisal angle is less sharp which due to which more of the lingual expect more of the lingual surface is seen and thus the tooth appears to be thicker at incisal third cervical line curvature is less in comparison to the mesial aspect and the curvature is 2.5 mm here the tooth is posed in a way that the root is not seen this has happened as mesial uh, as root apex and incisal edge are in the same plane Incisal ridge is, uh, is rounded and merges with mesoincisal and distoincisal angle. With time, it gets converted into incisal edge due to continuous occlusal wear. As the tooth show tapering towards the lingual side, we can see a triangle being formed lingually towards the cingulum. Cingulum marks the cervical portion of the lingual surface. Mesolabial and distolabial line angles are prominent from the surface. Labio incisal line angle is greater than lingo incisal line angle as the tooth show tapering lingually. All the six line angles of the interior teeth are viewed from this direction that is mesolabial and distolabial, mesolingual and distolingual and labioincisal and linguoincisal. That's all about maxillary central incisor. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.